June is the last of the first half of the year and there are things that some of you are yet to see in your life in the name of Jesus I call upon the God who has sent us by the power that raised Christ from the dead I know that there are still a few days to the end of May my God will surprise you my God will surprise you some of you hear me some of you literally by this time tomorrow I stand by Apakatoske help that gentleman by this time tomorrow may my God surprise you number two in the name of Jesus Christ I want to pray for direction some of you are confused that is the reason why you are stagnated when direction comes speed comes to in the name of Jesus in your dreams in your visions may God give you clear directions clear directions for the next clear directions for the next season in the name of Jesus Christ there are some of you the reason why things are not going well is simply because you have not joined the right chariot he told Philip join this chariot hallelujah and he joined that chariot and it became the salvation of the utopian Enoch I want to pray for you in the name of Jesus every strategic relationship that must be introduced to your life for your rising for your making between now and the end of June may my God bring strategic people to your life ministry relationships business relationships destiny relationships covenant relationships receive it in the name of Jesus hear me there are many of you the situation you are in now you cannot advocate your liberty it will take somebody who is already in the palace you are Joseph you have the ability to interpret dreams potential to be a prime minister but you don't have a chance to defend yourself in front of Pharaoh but there is a wine presser somewhere I don't know who is already where in a place where they can speak for you and they are not speaking for you because they have forgotten you I place you in their mind by the spirit of the living God I place you in their mind may God cause them to speak for you in the name of Jesus Christ hallelujah the Lord is asking me to rebuke the spirit of fear the Bible says God has not given us the spirit of fear but of love power and of a sound mind it says to deliver them to through the fear of death have all their lifetime been subject to bondage there are many of you you are not sick but the fear that is on you you get up in the morning will an accident happen you just feel something small in your body and the devil says death is the voice of the enemy I want to silence it right now every voice that is planting fear in Jesus name that voice is hereby silence forever silence forever silence forever I prophesy over you you shall not die no untimely death in the name of Jesus please hear me anybody that is plotting evil against you whether kidnap or accident or sickness in the name of Jesus let the earth open and swallow them let the earth open and swallow them in the name of Jesus Christ any charm any coven any satanic place in the name of Jesus that carries anything that belongs to you I declare that the power fails instantly let me pray for someone who is trusting God for a job in the name of Jesus may Ebenezer the helper of men surprise you in the name of Jesus every ministry here every business that is dead or dying everything in your hand that is dying you are holding something that is dying I give it life now 
let it come back to life now your business comes back to life your body comes back to life your ministry comes back to life in the name of Jesus Christ hallelujah whatever has taken the glory of the Lord upon your life for Samson it was Delilah that took that glory from him for Gideon something happened and he the least person the least in his father's house all those idolatry brought them to a place of subjugation whatever has taken the glory of God upon your life you used to be great you used to be anointed you used to be favored something happened and you just started drying up like a tree in the name of Jesus may the restorer restore you tonight I say it again may the restorer restore you tonight may the restorer restore you tonight hallelujah please hear me any door that was once open for good and whether by mistakes on your part by not understanding the laws that keep doors open or by some demonic thing that door closed whether doors of favor doors of relationship doors into the heart of great men I stand and call upon he that has the key of David the one that openeth and no man shut it and shut it and no man open it I speak to that door a fata be open be open be open the door to the hearts of kings be open the door to your destiny help us hearts be open in the name of Jesus Christ every wrong statement that has been said about you that is stopping your helpers and those who can be used by God to reward you from reaching you I cancel that statement now I place a mark upon you that everywhere you go from tonight be distinguished for favor reject anything that wants to make you look like you're a cause anybody who does not appreciate you for who you are just leave them with their ignorance but as far as you are concerned I am a blessing say it in the morning say it in the afternoon say it in the evening it is finished shame is finished disappointment finished years of crying without solution is finished yes you have to believe this don't just say amen but believe the only thing that stands between you and your miracles is your disbelief and your doubt it's easy to say amen to words of affirmation and prayers but it's another thing to truly believe them with all your heart and your soul i encourage you today to do just that to force your mind to believe, to make it the only choice you have. You have nothing to lose by deciding to believe and everything to gain. We can always train our minds just like we can train our bodies. And just like a muscle grows stronger with exercise, our faith grows stronger with practice. Jesus said that if we have faith like the size of a mustard seed, we can tell a mountain to move from one place to another and it will move. That may sound like an impossible task, but with faith, all things are possible. So I encourage you today to declare it loudly and confidently. Believe that your miracle is coming and trust that it will arrive at the perfect time. Don't let doubt and disbelief hold you back from the blessing that are waiting for you. With faith, anything is possible. So let us choose to believe and let us watch as our miracles unfold.